Hi, everybody. Welcome to Grace with Paul Gray. I've missed uh, seeing you all doing videos. Well, actually, I don't see you all, but you see me. But uh, a lot of you respond and talk to me about that. So I've missed doing some videos. I've been in this series called One Another's for the last uh, 19 days. And I've done a post on them each day, which hopefully you've seen. I'm going to do some videos and some posts now. So today I'm continuing in this one another thing. And we're looking at the phrase, therefore encourage one another and build each other up. And that comes from a couple of different passages, 1 Thessalonians 5.11 and Hebrews 3.13 and uh, Hebrews 10.24. Different Bible writers, uh, especially the Apostle Paul, talk about encouraging one another and building up one another. What is it that actually builds people up? Is it trying to pull yourself up by your bootstraps? Is it saying, you can do it, just try hard, get up earlier and stay later, or you've got it in you to do well or whatever? Well, those things can help some, and it's great to encourage people and uh, things like that, but really, it's grace that builds up. The Apostle Paul summarized his ministry and his life in a phrase in Acts 20, 32. He's talking to the elders, the leaders of the church in Ephesus. He knows that he'll never see them again. So he says to this, And now I commend you to the care of God and to the message of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you the blessings that God has for all his people. Paul comes out point blank and says, God's message is the message of grace which is able to build you up and give you the blessings that God has for all of his people. We talked, uh, or at least I wrote the other day about Ephesians 4.29, which says uh, in the older translations, it says, let no corrupt word proceed from your mouth, but only what is good for necessary edification, which means encouraging and building up, that it may impart grace to the hearers. Now, the law doesn't build up. The law tears down. All the law does, law has no power. All it does is says, this is bad, and you're bad if you do that. It gives you no power to overcome that, not do it, or do any better. Grace, on the other hand, builds you up. Grace is full of the power of the Holy Spirit of Christ. Jesus is grace personified. So, in this little short message today, I just want to encourage you and myself and all of us to encourage one another with grace. Grace is what builds people up. What is grace? It's God's unconditional love perpetually in action, bringing everything together, bringing about what is good and what is right for everyone. That's what God's grace is. And it's already done everything for us in our relationship with God. So rather than tell somebody to try harder and work harder and do your best, motivate them, encourage them, build them up with grace and saying, hey, listen, look at who you are. You are God's son. You are God's daughter. He's already made you right with him. He's already gifted you. You have infinite worth and value to him. He's done everything for you to include you in his divine triune circle dance of love and everything that comes from that love, joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness, all of those good things that come from God's grace. So good to be with you all again. Encourage one another and build each other up in grace. See you next time.